So if you guys have watched this channel for any amount of time, you probably already know about my cactus addiction. Some say it's an issue, but I think it just sparks my creativity. I actually had a vision of a cactus the other day strung up with Christmas lights, and I was like, I totally have to illustrate this, and I'll even have to animate it too. So I thought I'd create a video, and I'll show you guys exactly how I made this right here, and hopefully by the end of it, you'll have one too. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, what I want to do first is grab my pencil tool. There's a couple ways that we could do this. A lot of times I'll use maybe the rectangle tool, um, but I want this to feel really organic and I want it to feel not so symmetrical. So I'm going to start by just drawing the basic shapes of my cactus. I'm going to increase the stroke of this. We'll take this little tool right here and increase it. And I'm actually going to already change the color of the inside. So it's a cactus, so obviously we want it to be some sort of green. I think that'll be good for now. Now we're gonna do the little arms. So we're gonna take our pencil tool. We're just gonna draw little arms. This is my favorite part about making things like cactuses is it doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna take our pencil tool again and we're just gonna draw the other side. And just like that, we have a really simple cactus. Again, I love drawing cactuses because they're just so easy. So I don't really like this corner right here. It's sharp, see how everything else is round. So I'm gonna come over here and grab my little tool and pull that in, and that'll just kind of round it off for us. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my pencil tool again, and I'm just gonna draw some vertical lines on this cactus. Just like that. I think it might need to come down a little bit in stroke, so I think it's a 10, let's take it to an eight. I think that's great. And I realized on both of these I have a fill I don't want to fill, so we'll turn that off. Again, we're going to grab the pencil tool, and just going to do a line right up the middle. Perfect. We're going to do it on this one as well. Super simple way to do a cactus. So now, I want to add some pricklies, right, because it's sharp, it's cactus. We'll go to blob brush. I've got basic round, and I'm just going to tap like that. So I actually want it to be a little bigger than that, so let's do like... 12 maybe let's see how good that is yeah I think that'll work and so we're just gonna randomly tap and get these little spikes now obviously there's no rhyme or reason to this once it feels right that's probably good you don't want to go too crazy sometimes I feel like I, I overdo the spikes so make sure you don't go too crazy on it what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna collapse this group and I'm gonna create a new group and now we can start adding the fun things like the Christmas lights. So this time I'm going to come over here and I'm gonna grab my ellipse tool. So we'll stretch this out. And then I'm gonna come grab this little guy and hold my shift tool, shrink it up a little bit, just like that. Obviously we wanna increase the stroke. So we'll increase the stroke and shrink it down just a touch. Let's add some color in here. So maybe like a blue, we'll adjust all that in a minute. Then I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool, zoom in a little bit, align this in the center. We'll grab all these, round them off. Again, we'll center it. Create another one, duplicate it, or. I'm gonna change this stroke to six. I want it to be a little lighter than the bulb stroke. And yeah, I think that's good. So let's take this color, we'll make this black, and then we'll take these two, and we're gonna make them like a silver. So we'll come down here and drag it to silver, perfect. And you should start understanding the direction this is going. All right, now I wanna add a little highlight and shadow. So I'm gonna come over here and take my pencil tool, throw it all the way to the white. I don't wanna stroke on this, so we'll put no stroke. And we're just going to draw a little circle like that. And then we're going to take it again, make it black. We're just gonna draw a quick little drop shadow on the bottom right. We'll do it all the way over here as well. Grab both these, and we're going to lower the opacity. Maybe like 28%, that's probably good. Let's move this guy up here a little bit. And now we have a nice little light bulb. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna group it. And I'm gonna duplicate it. And I'm gonna do a bunch of different lights. So this one, will maybe we'll do a red. I think that's good. Let's do another one. Maybe this one can be like yellow. I think that's good. Yeah, I don't wanna get too crazy with it. I think that'll be good for now. So now I wanna add another layer. I'm gonna grab my pencil tool again. And I'm just gonna start drawing like lines. This will be the uh, the rope, the string lights kind of wrapped around it. So we'll take our pen tool, pencil tool, make sure we have no color selected. We just want to stroke on this. And we're just gonna go through and start stringing these, just like this. So I've got everything selected. I did 
pull the stroke up to 18 just to make it a little bigger and then we're going to put a cap on all the ends to round it and that should just make it look like rope strung along so now we can take our bulbs and we can just start stringing them all along i want to make sure this layer is on the top so we'll make sure that's on the top we just want to rotate it i'm going to shrink it a little bit let me make sure they're all the same size so we'll grab all of them shrink them down a little bit i still want them to be big because i want you to be able to see what they are but we're going to shrink it and we're just going to start placing them along Make sure you rotate it so it gets, you don't want it to look all the same because then it's just, it's not going to make any sense. So just keep taking these and we'll duplicate it. Now we're just going to work our way down. All right, so I've got all my bulbs placed. I really like how this looks. One thing I don't think I like is how thick the string is. So I'm gonna actually come and play with that a little bit. Maybe we'll do that like 10 point. I think that looks a little better. All right, so I went through and adjusted this. It's pretty much exactly what I was thinking. Uh, I think everything's where it should be. It's looking nice, it's fun, very festive while still being a cactus. All right, so I'm actually gonna hide these two layers because I realized I forgot my highlights and shadows. It's looking a little bare. So I'm just gonna trace this real quick with my black pencil tool. Just following the lines, keeping it inside. If you watch any of my videos, you should know this technique already. This is how we do all our shadows. We just throw a nice little black shape on top, and then we'll come back through. We'll drop that opacity. So we'll grab these, lower that opacity, perfect. We'll grab one more, make it white, and then we'll add a little highlights as well. Okay, I think that's a good amount, and we can throw this layers back on now. All right, so now we're going to take this, and I'm going to duplicate it, and this is where the fun's going to happen. So I'm just going to switch the lights. We're going to change the colors. So this one will be red. This one will be yellow. And this one will be blue. And we're just going to do this all throughout, and I'll come back once we do once we replace everything. All right, so I've got all these colors different now. And you're probably like, I don't understand why you did that. But I'll explain it here in a minute. So we're going to take each of our cactuses. And I'm going to export them. Alright, I've got those images exported. Now I'm going to open up Procreate. And I'm going to open a new file. Screen size, it really doesn't matter. You, this could be done in anything too. It could be done in Photoshop, Illustrator, iMovie. Whatever you, whatever you use to animate. I just want to show you this concept, right? We're going to take these two illustrations that we made. And we're going to make it move a little bit. All right, so I've got both of our cactuses placed in here. Now we can come down here to our animation timeline, and I can go to my settings. I want it to be loop. Uh, we can play with our frames per second. I'm not really sure exactly what we want yet, but I think two will probably be good. And we're going to click play, and that's where the magic should happen. So we click play, and if you see, we've got a nice little animation looking like their Christmas lights just flashing. And like I said, we can play with our frames per second. So obviously, if you, if you really dial it up, you can go crazy, which... You know, I don't think we want a rave cactus, but maybe you do. Uh, if we go all the way to one, that's probably a little bit more realistic of what it would look like uh, with Christmas lights. So I think two is fun just to keep the attention going. But yeah, super simple way to get an easy animation with our illustration. Uh, we've got a fun little cactus decorated for Christmas. Obviously, we can throw some background elements in here or we could just export this and do whatever we want with it but i think this was a fun little video just showing you how to do the illustration how to take it to the next level give it some animation and uh just hopefully you were able to learn something from this and create something cool well guys that's all i got for you if you like the video you already know what to do until the next time peace